In this video, we're going to talk about what in-floor systems are and what components to look for. My name is Noah Edgerton. I'm with New Pools as a designer here with Shasta Pools, and I've been in the industry for a little over four years now. So an in-floor pool system is a little bit different from the traditional pools you may have seen. Um, you may have seen a vacuum system on most pools with a snake or robot swimming around inside of the pool. This eliminates the need of that and uses circulation heads from the bottom of the pool to help self-clean and circulate the water more efficiently. When looking into an in-floor system, there are three components that are usually essential to having a complete in-floor system, which starts with the heads that are cleaning and help circulating the pool, as well as when it gets back to your equipment, the filtration system and what stages of filtration it has, as well as the pump that's moving that water and essentially running the energy costs for that. As for in-floor systems, this is a Venturi head. There are many different systems out there, such as weighted heads, different spring-loaded heads, as well as weighted and notched heads that kind of serve the pool in different ways. But I'm just using this Venturi head as an example. This will be placed on the bottom of your pool, as well as on the steps, benches, and possible Baja shelves to help pop up and self-clean all of that dirt that's hitting your pool consistently towards the main drain. Going from the in-floor heads, we're transitioning towards the equipment pad where your filter is going to be sitting, and we'll go over a few essential components that goes over the maintenance and how much work is needed for this pool system. When it comes to filters, there are three main types of filters on the market, such as sand filters, cartridge filters, as well as DE or diatomaceous earth filters. Each of them are compatible with in-floor systems, but have varying performance and maintenance requirements with them. Not only are there filters on your equipment pad, uh, but with other systems out there, they do have the ability to have multiple stages of filtration leading up to the filter, such as a leaf canister or a cyclone that helps take out most of the debris before hitting your filter and alleviating that stress on the total system. To tie it all together with your in-floor system, the pump is gonna be the most essential heart of your in-floor system that helps move that water and regulates just how much energy is being consumed throughout this process. A single speed pump has one setting, a single speed, which is basically flooring it and going max speed when it is operating and using your cleaning system. Variable speed pump has the ability to control the RPMs and control the flow rate on the pump system and control the energy consumption for your in-floor system. The higher RPMs let you pop up the heads for your in-floor system to allow that water to flow through and start to clean throughout your pool. Now those heads won't be popped up all day long, but you do want your pool circulating the water all day long for you versus the stagnant water. Where the variable speed plays into it, where it can ramp up that energy and RPMs for the cleaning times that you schedule it out as well as lower the RPMs just to an essential circulation level, um, as well as to keep the skimmer going and keep some essential components flowing. So the last component to really tie all these uh, heads, filters, and pumps together will be your panel system that sits near the equipment. This will be brought from your electrical panel over to your pool equipment. And these can uh, range in different capabilities from the traditional time clock to having a lot of automation on your pool system and also regulate the energy consumption and give you a clear, transparent picture of what's going on with your pool. Once again, what makes an in-floor system is of course the heads, the filters, the pumps, and of course the panel system to tie all those components together. If you have any more questions on the in-floor system, check out our learning center where we have articles that go more into depth on this system for you. Or you can visit us at one of our design centers where we can go over any questions for you or go over any equipment in person. Or you can simply just give us a call.